What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Bandit Barney and today we're going over flying in Red Dead 2. What Barney? You're saying the things. My brain can't comprehend these things. It's so marvelous a thought, an idea. How can you say these such things like this? We all know that traveling in Red Dead, I mean, the game is beautiful. So it's not like Oh, I have to go here again. Oh, I have to go here. But there is no fast travel. And aside from, you know, just riding on your horse, you can take a train or a stagecoach if you lose your horse. But there's no quick way about it, really, because there's how many train stops are there, man? Let's see. There's Wallace, Riggs, Rhodes, San Denis, two more over here, and Valentine. So six seven stops until you unlock late game um and you have to go to those places it's not like you can quick hop to the train station that's near you so is there gonna ever be a faster way to travel well online may be coming with some flying some flying travel and wait with barney why you say these things why you make it so happy to me you're saying things that i just can't believe the things you're telling me well you better fucking believe it because that I am the genius and in this brain works like a miniature Albert Einstein clicking the nerve and hitting the button what you want to do open up your map and actually right next to the hermit cave right north of him right up over here we're gonna just take our horse for a little gallop we might come across some evidence towards flying in the game now if we look historically Okay, if we're playing this by the book, historical, the way that my high school teachers would want it to go. We right now are in the time period two years before the first actual flying machine, the first plane. We're two years before it was built historically, okay? Now let's see, where is this, where is this bastard? Horse can, please, you can... Okay. Did I pass it or did I not pass it yet? Okay, come on. Don't act like you don't know exactly what you're doing. This is the time to know exactly where you are. Let's see how far north am I? Maybe I need to go a little bit more up over here. Okay, yes, here we go. Here we go. Up over here to the top of the mountain. Where is the my Don't hey Hey, don't make fun of me, okay? For not being able to find the shit. Don't make fun of me. We're gonna find it and we're gonna prove you wrong that I'm not idiot. Okay, we're back. I passed it. Yep. It's right over here. Follow the path of the cave, the wall. And we come down to here. There it is. Okay, so if we go right here, I see in front of me now. My eyes are not blind. I can see. And we look here is the flying contraption. Now, if there's a point in the game where if you go to like the theater, you can watch a movie where they talk about this flying guy and basically this person whatever his name was had two sons and he kind of pioneered the flying thing except for his wasn't a vehicle it was more like strap on wings that you'd fly with um and he crashed into a lamp got set afire burned and died so his sons have to carry the legacy of the idiot who burns you alive and it looked like they're doing pretty good job. This guy right here, he got to wreck. And uh, clearly he has been dead for a while. Let's see what kind of look was on his face when he died. Classic. Classic look of the idiot. Okay, get this bar out of my... Okay, classic idiot. Shit, this bar is in the way, man. Yep, that's the classic look of idiot who died to the... Thing he shouldn't die too. Look at this. Yep, we back up. Why is my binocular so blurry? Fuck the binocular. Classic idiot that dies to the plane crash. 
So, what does this mean about the future? Well, what this does mean is that we're kind of following history right here. And that in two years, flying machines are already being investigated, like adventured with. Like, the, people are trying to figure out how to fly right now. So when the online come, maybe we can get the airplane. I mean, I wouldn't call this an airplane, but maybe we get a little bit of flight. We can travel a little bit faster with the wings. Can we? Can we not? Who knows? Well, there is probably a few people that know it, Rockstar. So this is the call. Can we do the flying or can we not? Rockstar, you tell us soon. You let us know. We want to know. Can we fly in the air? Or is it something that will only be left to the idiot who wants to crash and burn? I'll tell you this for sure. When we look at this accident, we've... When, why did I run away from it? Why did... When we look at this accident, what do we see? Well, if there was really two brothers, why the shit the one brother leave his other brother out here? Maybe one of the brother saw that his father died in the plane crash, horrific burning accident, and say, no more of the family will go down this idiotic path of the flight. While the other brother says, no, we don't give up. The dad's passion was to flying. Our passion is to flying. We cannot give up. And then what happened? And three weeks later, the one brother joined his father in the afterlife. Clearly, the two brothers did not agree on the thought process here. Because if they did, why did one brother leave his sibling like this? This is disgrace. This is disgrace. He's wearing this little handkerchief over his head. Probably to keep the head on while he's flying. But he looked like idiot. And you're gonna leave him here like the skeleton. No proper berry? Why you don't proper berry to this man? He got punctured through the chest with his steering rod. Oh, and you're going to leave him here like this? Okay, look, if I have a one request, don't treat me like this brother treat his brother. Don't treat me like that. Because don't leave me out here to dry. Like and subscribe the video. Share it with your friend, grandma, whatever. Maybe not children because we swear on the channel, but you share with somebody. Treat me better than this brother treat him. Thank you and goodbye.